nga mana i nga reo ngā karanga maha tēnā nō tātou. Tēnā nō tātou i laro te tui nui o tō tātou nei whare. Hei, whakaaro ki ngā kaupapa kei mui a tātou i tēnā i ahi ahi nō reira tēnā nō tātou. Huri noa, huri noa, huri noa i te whare. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, please forgive me because I'm going to read some of my presentation, not because I want to, it's to help out the interpreter. And so I'm going to also ask forgiveness from the interpreter because I'm not very good at following the script. <laughs> so I'll, I'll do a bit of a dance here as I um, to try and make a few uh, comments uh, for this afternoon. So to the, all the dignitaries that are gathered here, the leaders and the elders, and to the many languages, to the people of this territory, uh, I acknowledge you all. And I particularly want to acknowledge the peoples past and present who have had responsibility for the guardianship of this land on which we stand. I acknowledge uh, the uh, rector, uh, Yelena Pōsanga, and the members of the University uh, College faculty, and the staff, including uh, the previous office holders of the leadership of the Sami University, who are also here uh, this afternoon. I acknowledge the presence of, uh, of um, Arne Husebeck, the uh, new a rector at the Tromsko University, University of Tromsko, and uh, her accompanying staff who have joined her here this afternoon. And, uh, and I want to give uh, recognition to all of the special guests who have been invited this after afternoon, and most importantly to recognise uh, and greet today's new year one uh, intake for uh, Sami University College. Um, and I want to acknowledge uh, any of the parents who might also be here uh, with you. I don't know if, that's, uh, if they are, but often we refer to the students and parents in our context as the debtors and creditors of the institution. So I want to acknowledge uh, you all. I do also want to thank uh, Mikhail Rasmus for his, for his words and He's an outstanding student, obviously, in media studies because anybody who can talk for five minutes about the nightlife in Kotokena <laughs> is obviously studying uh, to be a spin doctor in the media studies program and doing very well. Thank you uh, for the invitation to be here today for this event. I'm particularly honoured to uh, contribute some comments about where we are up to in our New Zealand context. We are a sister institution to the Sami University College. We're an indigenous university in uh, the South Pacific. And we share many things in common. Uh, I come here today to talk about some of the things that we're doing, not to say look at us and aren't these things wonderful, what we're doing? I'm simply reporting where we are up to in our struggle. And there may be some things that are useful for the context here, and there uh, may be things that reinforce what you're already doing. Uh, all of those things are important. While I'm speaking, I've just flicked some, uh, just uh, a few slides up to give a context to some of the things that that uh, are involved with our institution. We're about three and uh, a half thousand uh, Fs, which is equivalent to 6,700 students in our institution. And here's uh, something that amazes people. We have 180 staff in that institution. So we have uh, a different pedagogical approach to how we are delivering our courses. And some of those things uh, may be useful for consideration 
in this context, but I do know that some of the ways in which we teach, which is by bringing groups together to live in together for two weeks for intense courses, supplemented by online teaching, is something that is already going on here. And we have other methodologies as well, which are uh, mainly concerned with teaching our tribal uh, groups in their own communities, uh, utilizing their own resources and helping them to uh, take a wide range of programs. Um, I'm jumping across my, my talk here, so I apologize to the translator again. I'm, I'm particularly proud to be here at Sami University College in this, uh, what I call the cosmopolitan uh, setting of the tundra of Kotakino. And uh, as I said, there are many things which uh, I also want to take away from here as learning opportunities uh, for ourselves. Um, on an occasion such as this, it's important to remember where we have come from. And we should acknowledge the history of the Sami struggle and the development of the Sami University College and its achievements over the last 50 years or so in particular. This is an internationally recognized educational site. It is, site, it is a site that is acknowledged for its research and teaching that supports the survival of Sami and by extension all indigenous languages, knowledge and culture as being central to our cultural well-being. Its existence as an indigenous institution has not been easy and from time to time it has had to be defended politically. At various points there has been a struggle to maintain the aspirations of those who have gone before. At other times, there have been struggles to keep the institution above the line economically. But the Sami University College, like ourselves in New Zealand, has endured, thanks to the commitment of many different individuals and communities, including Sami scholars across different institutional sites and the political space created by the work of the Sami parliament. How does a Māori know all this? Well, I know because your struggle is virtually the same as our struggle. It is also the very same struggle that you will find time and time again across different indigenous territories and populations. This is the nature of our colonized existence and having to make our way within a societal context of unequal power relations. While Sami University College has changed shape a little since my first engagement with the Sami Nordic Institute about 23 years ago, the struggle continues, and the, even though I have to say that the students of today are much brighter and far better looking than they were <laughs> years ago. The necessity to struggle for our cultural survival remains, and I would encourage you all to maintain the integrity of the struggle in these difficult economic times. In my view, there are four main goals of the Indigenous University that circumscribe our unique position and contribution to the overall mix of higher education provision. And I'll briefly summarise them here. The first concern must be for cultural citizenship. We provide the cultural repository for the survival of our Indigenous language, knowledge and culture. This task embraces our traditional, contemporary and future contexts. Māoris still want to be and still need to be Māori. 
our goal is to provide the opportunity for our students to be exemplary Māori cultural citizens. Right, so this is not an either or choice about our culture and world culture. But we have a task that I consider to be primary. The second point is what I call social well-being and economic livelihood is a concern for our institutions. We provide a focus on the socio-economic enhancement of our communities who are often disproportionately disadvantaged or marginalised. We look to develop innovative approaches to produce skills and learning that can interrupt cycles of social and economic disadvantage. The third element is what I call the creation of intellectual space. We provide the intellectual underpinning and scholarship and space for our indigenous language, knowledge and culture. This is the work that not only engages in indigenous theorizing and research, it is also about engaging theoretically and practically with all knowledge. This is not an either or task, but a full on engagement that is based on our cultural well-being, growth, contribution and survival. The fourth element that I consider to be an important part of the Indigenous University context is what I call contribution to society. The contribution to the enhancement of our total society and indeed a contribution to world knowledge is extremely important. And that has to be part of our new vision. What is good for Māori is ultimately beneficial for our total New Zealand society. To this extent, we intentionally work hard at collaborating with other like-minded academic, uh, academics and institutions within New Zealand. This means we need to understand what our new, unique contribution is and be confident about that. Equally, we need to understand our limitations and be prepared to seek relationships to enhance opportunities for our students where this is appropriate. I would nominate six particular tasks that we should remind ourselves of in re uh, regard to the struggle within education and whether, whether or not we are Māori, Aboriginal, First Nations, Native Hawaiian, or indeed Sami. There's a, firstly, there's a need to take increased responsibility for our indigenous well-being through self-development and education. To be confident about being proactive and self-reliant rather than waiting for others to always lead change for us. The second point is that there's a need to pursue the dual pathways of seeking excellence in our own indigenous knowledges and cultural preferences, as well as seeking excellence in world knowledge. Again, this is not an either or, that, uh, that we have uh, two tasks that, that we face. But there is a priority, and that relates to our own cultural context. There is a need to proactively build the power of our indigenous values of collectivity, reciprocity, sharing and not be torn apart by competitive individualism that creates a divide and rule situation amongst ourselves. This is not just a colonizing imperative. We are often guilty of doing this to ourselves. There is a need to focus our academic work on transforming outcomes to move beyond simply describing our pathologies and crises to enacting change. Understand the morbidity of our history and of struggle, but use this as a lever to move forward and not to debilitate ourselves. There is a need to develop critical literacies 
that enable us to more clearly see and read the impediments to change. We need to do this so that the strategies that we choose for change are more likely to be successful. We need to see both people impediments and structural impediments. As an example, the, the impact of unequal power relations and all the things that derive from that. Because colonisation has not gone away. Rather, it has changed shape and we need to develop appropriate ways to read and respond to these new formations of colonisation, economic oppression and cultural exploitation. There is a need to contribute back to our communities and not become educated away from the people. These are a few selected reminders as to what is unique about institutions such as Te Whare Wānanga or Awa Nui Arangi and indeed the Sami University College. These of course are not the only important elements in these institutions. So before we all get too depressed, I also need to say, and I concur again with uh, uh, Mikhail Rasmus here, there, near, there will be lots of fun and happiness. You will make lifelong friends. You will enhance your cultural well-being. And many of you will find a lifelong career. More than this, the sense of contribution to the survival of your culture is a unique, emotional and cathartic experience. Finally, all students who undertake their studies at an institution such as this also inherit the shared responsibility to assist its continuance and to help ensure its academic credibility through the great deeds that each of you will accomplish in the future. Again, I reiterate, Sami University College is a worthy indigenous institution by international standards. The staff and students who commit to the Sami University take on the responsibility to sustain the aspirations and dreams of the Sami peoples and communities. This is not always a straightforward or level road. There are often challenges and detractors to overcome. Often this requires courage and personal sacrifice, but the rewards for perseverance are fulfilling. I often share with our own students who stand up to be counted in our cultural struggle the words of the great American poet Robert Frost that it's not always easy to take the road less travelled. And so I just want to conclude here and say congratulations to those students who have elected to stand up and come to this institution on behalf of their cultural survivors. Congratulations to you all who begin their studies here and make the Sami University College and your communities proud. Tēnā koutou katoa. Kia ora. Thank you very much. And I... I want to finish by singing a song because it's traditional and contemporary and futuristic. <laughs>
says this. Who will look after our long houses tomorrow? Will it be you? Will it be you? Or will it be you? And the answer comes back. It will be love for our fellow human beings. It will be respect for our people. And it will be the truth about our cultural survival. Nō reira tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katō. Thank you very much. And I, I forgot to acknowledge Mills and Kaiser, who spent a year with us, as you saw in that uh, uh, photograph there, as visiting scholars at our institution. So if you have any questions, please ask them. <laughs>